Hello, my wonderful learners. Hello, super invincibles. I hope we are all doing great today. Good day to all of you. I hope we are all being fine. We are all doing great. How are your parents? How are your siblings? I hope you're keeping safe. Okay, this is Miss Helen once again. And today, we have an interesting topic. Today, our subject is mathematics. And our topic is percentages. I know you've heard of percentage. Every time, we keep treating percentages. And even last time, we treated percentage. But I decided to do it all over again because I noticed that some of us, we don't still understand or we can still do problems on percentages. That is why I decided to start all over again. And I hope that at the end of this lesson, you'll be able to understand better. Okay. So... Percentage or percent means per hundred. That is out of every hundred. A number expressed as a part or fraction of hundred. It can also be expressed as representing a rate or a ratio between two amounts with the denominator being hundred. Yes, percentage or percent means per hundred. You remember in your French the the number 100 means cent so percentage that is where it's gotten the word percentage or percent it means out of every hundred a number expressed as a part or fraction of hundred it can be a ratio 25 is to 100 50 is to 100 or a fraction 4 over 100 but a part of the fraction is supposed to be what 100 it, that is what I try to say that it can be represented as a rate or a ratio between two amounts with the denominator being 100. This is the sign used to express a percentage. Example, 25% means 25 over 100 or 25 is 200. 50% means 50 over 100 or 50 is 200. 4% means 4 over 100 or 4 is 200 and so on and so forth. So let's continue. There are different operations that we do on the percentage like changing from decimal to percentage, um, changing from fractions to percentage and so on and so forth. But the first operation that we are going to do right now is expressing numbers and amounts as percentage. When you are asked to express number, numbers and amounts as percentage, you simply do... Okay, let's just take the first example. Express 20 as a percentage of 50. That is, you just simply do 20 over 50 times 100 over 1. So you just make the 20 and 50 a fraction and then you multiply by 100. That is just what that's simply asking you to do. So you just do, you equate it, which is just 20 times 100 over 50. 0 cancels 0. Then 5 divided by itself, 1. 5 divided by 10, you have 2. So you just have 20 times 2, you have 40%. So that is it for that number. So let's look at the second example. Express 33 as a percentage of 70. So you sim it still simply means 33 over 70 times 100 over 1, which is just 33 times 100 over 70 because I just brought the denominator the numerators together and then over the denominator so I just have I cancel 0 0 cancel 0 there is nothing else that can go 3 can 7 cannot divide 33 so I just multiply out and 7 can divide 10 so um please for this mathematics I plead that you should please have your daughter with you you should have your jotter and your pencil or your pen with you. Please, if you don't have it, just get it 
to be right beside you each time you're having mathematics make sure that your jotter and your pencil or your pen is beside you because we're going to be solving so i want as i'm teaching you're going to be solving along with me so let's continue so we just have 33 times 10 which is 330 330 over 7 7 divide itself 1 into 33 you have 4 4 remainder 5 into 50 you have 7 7 remainder 1 over 7 percent so let's look at the next one Express 35 minutes as a percentage of 1 hour. 35 minutes as a percentage of 1 hour. If we look at what we have here, we can see that the two terms, they are unlike terms. They are not like terms. Minutes cannot come under an hour. They cannot be together. So, is either we are changing, we are, so we are going to change the hour to minutes. We are going to change one hour to minutes so that they can be like terms so and we know that 60 minutes is equals to one hour okay you have to change one hour to minutes so we have so we know that 60 minutes is equals to one hour so we just simply do so we now have 35 minutes over 60 minutes times 100 over 1 which is 35 times 100 over 60 so we still cancel out zero cancel zero two into six three into ten five is no longer hundred because we've cancelled out zero so there is nothing else that can go so we just do 35 times five is equals to what 175 please calculate with me i'm i know i'm not there to calculate with you but please just do that I miss you all so it we now have 175 over 3 3 into itself 1 into 17 5 5 remainder 2 into 25 we have what 8 remainder 1 over 3 percent that is just it so anytime you are asked to express a number as a percentage of this as a percentage of that so you just do that particular number over the other number that you are giving times 100 over 1 because we are asked to express as a percentage. So 100 must come in. I hope you've all been able to understand what I thought. Percent means per 100 out of every 100. It can be expressed as a part or a ratio, a part of a fraction or a ratio with the denominator as 100. Okay, I'm going to send in your classwork. Make sure you go to the website to have access to it through the assignments interface. So, like, come your way next time. I love you. Bye.